specific kinds of problems. Let's talk now about the, the origins of problem-oriented policing. Uh, where did this idea come from? Um, when, was there a moment when the light bulb suddenly went on? No, not by any means. Uh, I uh, calculated the other day that I've now been working on policing problems and issues for over 50 years. And um, uh, the concept is uh, evolved in that whole period of time. Uh, I look back at some periods when you know, I was very naive as to how I perceived the police function. Uh, but uh, it came about as a result of several very specific experiences. One was my early participation in the American Bar Foundation study, a landmark research project. And then my experience with the uh, uh, Chicago Police Department, uh, where I was located for some four years. Uh, subsequent to that, University of Wisconsin, which provided me with an academic base for developing these things. Uh, work on some major projects like the President's Commission. Uh, and uh, and uh, subsequently, uh, various efforts to try to implement problem born policing. So I'm learning, I'm still learning about it, but it's something that has evolved over a period of close to 50 years. And it really was based on these early experiences you had with the Bar Foundation in, in Chicago, for example. Right. Let, let, we'll come back and, and talk about each one of these uh, experiences 